Hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Yep. Good. Okay, perfect. So, good night, good night, good night. I'm so happy to be here. So I was thinking of you guys. Okay, so let's start. Um, uh, yesterday's class, we were talking about some gems, right? And some common ways to uh, answer when you agree or disagree with someone. So I'm gonna start sharing with you um, an exercise. So let's see what you remember. Okay, so just give me a couple of seconds and I'm with you here. Oh, what's going on with the rest? Let me send a message to the rest. So let me know if you can see that now, guys. Can you see a wheel? Can you see the wheel? No teacher. Not yet? Okay. Maybe again. Okay, it's loading. It's loading. Yes. Okay, let's see. So do you remember which uh, were some of the uh, common ways to answer uh, to show agreement or disagreement? Uh, the first one was, so do I, so what is another one? What is another way to answer, to show agreement? Me too. Me too, any other? Um, uh, neither am I. Uh -huh, for a negative, neither am I. Neither. Am I. So am I. Neither. Do I. Neither do I. So these are just some of the comments. Let's see. Um, I'm going to spin the wheel and then you have to give me an answer, okay? Let's see. Hope you don't get so dizzy. <laughs> okay, let's see. I didn't clean my house last weekend. So try to use one of the responses. How will you respond to that? So, for example, so did I or neither, or neither, neither did I. So let's see, I didn't clean my house last weekend. Marco, I didn't clean my house last weekend. Mm -hmm. So do I, so did I. So you, okay, let's see, uh, neither did I. So you did it, right? So you did. You did clean your house. Okay, let's see. Um, the next one. This is for uh Marco select a big team. Uh, Saul. Saul. Okay, Saul. I think I'll take a day's uh leave. Uh, 
I think he's trying to me a day off. Let me check. Mm -hmm. I think I'll take a day's leave, a uh, vacation, let's say. So how will you answer? So I think I'll take a day's leave. Using the auxiliary for the future tense. Using an auxiliary for a future tense. So. Wait. Uh huh. So will. Will I? Okay. So will I? Saul, select somebody else from the class. Fernando Linares. Fernando Linares. Fernando. Hi, Fernando. Hi. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Fernando, I have tried local Chinese food to show uh, a... Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue, please. <laughs> uh -huh. To show agreement, how will you uh, respond to that? I have tried local Chinese food. Uh, okay. Um... So do I. Mm, but this is a perfect tense. You okay. Have... So, huh? So have I. So have I. Okay, good. Okay. Let me okay. see. You. Fernando, yeah, select somebody else. Fernando. Oh, okay. Um well um let me see. Uh, Carlos Martinez. Carlos Martinez. Carlos, hi, Carlos. Sorry, uh, I had a doubt only. Um, mm -hmm. This is the last week or the next week we have a class? Oh, no, we have two more classes. Okay, uh, it's Monday and Tuesday, right? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. And then you're free <laughs> for a few days, I, I, I think. Have you sent your um documents? Uh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Let's see. Carlos. Carlos. Hi Carlos. I haven't read uh, Harry Potter. Teacher, I, I, I go I go my, my home. Okay, right you're now. going home. Okay. No problem. Let's see. Mm, Fernando, select somebody else. I haven't read Harry Potter. Okay, um, eh, Juan Carlos Cubillas. Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos, I haven't read Harry Potter. What do you think, Juan Carlos? I haven't read Harry Potter. How will you answer? Anybody? Who has the answer? Anybody? I haven't read Harry Potter. Isabo, um, let me see. Irma. Yeah. Neither do I. Mm, okay. So when you have a perfect tense, you have to answer with have. Neither have I. Remember, when you have a negative statement, you answer with a negative. Neither have I. If the sentence, aha, uh -huh, if positive, you answer with so, have I, so, or neither, so that depends. Okay, okay. so neither have I, neither have I. Okay, let's see another one. Uh, select somebody, Irma. Let me check. Okay. So while spinning the wheel, okay. Isabo Torres. Okay, Isabo, what do you think? I don't have a big family. Neither uh, do I. Excellent, Isabo. Select somebody else, Isabo. Select 
select someone in Sawa. Select someone from the class. Um, Carla Abigail. Okay, Carlita. I didn't go anywhere last Sunday. So do I? Oh, negative, negative. I didn't. Oh, neither, do, neither do I. Oh, past tense. Neither did I. Neither did I. Uh -huh. So that's just a matter of using the auxiliary. If the sentence is in past, you use the auxiliary for the past tense. If the sentence is in present, you use the auxiliary for simple present. Okay, Um, select somebody, please. Select somebody. Claudia Maria. Claudia. Hi, Claudia. What do you think? I normally get to work on foot. Uh, so do I. So do I. How about if you want to express an opposite idea? Okay. Imagine that you don't want to show agreement. So how will you what will you say? Si quieren expresar lo opuesto, usualmente voy al trabajo a pie. Yo también, so do I. But neither do I. Neither do so I. I. Well, you can say I don't. Yo no. <laughs> and that's all. Right? Okay, let's see. Um let's check another one. Okay, how about uh, select someone, Claudia? Please. One moment. Uh -huh. um, uh, Renee Giovanni. Renee, Renee, what do you think? I'm going shopping after the class. I'm going shopping after the class. Anybody who wants to um, answer that? Teacher. Uh -huh. Me está sacando del, de la plataforma. No sé por qué. Maybe the internet connection. Can you check it? Yo creo que sí, eso es. Mm -hmm. Check it and try to use, uh, let's see, just some devices. Maybe uh, there are some more users using the internet. ¿Habrá más personas conectadas utilizando el Wi-Fi? Mm, maybe. No, no. No. Only you. Okay, so that's interesting. Maybe if you try to access back again, but I don't know. So, okay, but you have your camera off. Tiene la cámara Está apagada. Está fallando bastante. Tiene la cámara apagada, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Okay. Bien. Eh, podría intentar, si está fallando, sacándolo mucho, cierra todo y e e ingresa nuevamente. The YouTube close everything. Trate de hacer un poquito rápido para que no, le pi no pierda muchos minutos. Okay, let's see. Guys, I'm going shopping after class. So which could be an answer? So am I. So am I. So am, so I. am I. Okay, so am I. Let's see. We're almost done. Let's see about this one. Anybody? Everybody. Let's see. I watched Terminator yesterday. Terminator. So did I. Did I. So did I. Okay. If I want to say that I didn't watch the Terminator, how will you say? Neither did I. Uh -huh, but that's not a negative. Uh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Uh -huh. Como no es una negativa, solo decimos lo opuesto. I didn't, right? Yo vi Terminator ayer. Yo no. Oh, if you want to agree, you say, so did I. Okay, let's see. Another one. We're almost uh, done. What do you think? I'm responsible and hardworking. Are you responsible and hardworking? So am I. 
so am I. Okay, so am I. Good, sorry for that. Okay, how about this one, guys? I used to play in the hockey team. I used to play in the hockey team. I used to play in a hockey team. Neither do I. Mm -hmm. do I? It's a positive. Uh -huh. So, oh, so, so did. I, so do I. So did I. So did I. Uh -huh. It's in the past tense. No. Remember, if you want to show an opposite idea when you have an affirmative statement, so you just say, I, I didn't. Okay. Si tienen un statement que es positivo y quieren expresar lo opuesto o quieren mostrar acuerdo, solo hacen una forma negativa. I didn't. So did I? Positive, uh, uh, show agreement, negative, uh, you don't want to show an agreement, I didn't. Uh, yo también, o yo no. I used to play in a hockey team. Yo no, I didn't. Okay, let's see, another one. We have like four. I don't like bananas. What do you think? Neither do I. Neither, neither, okay, neither do I. Okay, good. And we have three more. Um, I'm afraid of the hates. I'm afraid of the hates. What are hates? I don't know. Good for the other. Oh, 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 about resentment. Mm, so am I. So am I. Aha, uh -huh. son las alturas. Um, um, I'm afraid oh, of the hates. Yeah. Uh, hi, uh, let me check the pronunciation. See this hates. Well, I'm going to check that later. I like pop music. I like pop music. How about you? Like. Mm -hmm. So do I or I don't. Okay. I don't. I don't like pop music. But I do. I, so do I. I do like pop music. I always work long hours. I always work long hours. What do you think? Neither, neither am I. Mm, okay, when you have a positive statement, so you show it. Uh huh, positive. So, do I. Mm -hmm. um, recuerda, si tienen un, una, una oración enunciado positivo, afirmativo, La respuesta sería con so, so do I, o dependiendo del tiempo que estén utilizando. En este caso es presente simple. Si quieren mostrar, um, tienen un, un statement positivo y quieren decir lo opuesto, no vamos a utilizar el either, sino que solamente utilizamos el subject más el auxiliar y la forma negativa. So do I, por ejemplo acá. Yo siempre trabajo horas, jornadas largas. Okay? Yo también. Y aquí, para expresar lo negativo, solo sería el subject plus auxiliary and the negative form. I don't. So if I had, si yo tuviera um, an, a negative statement, um, for example, I don't work long hours. No trabajo jornadas largas. So how will you, uh, what will you say? Neither. Do I? Neither do I. Entonces, miren, tienen ahí un um, statement negativo. ¿Cómo lo pasaríamos a positivo? Yo tampoco. O sea, yo tampoco trabajo jornadas largas. Podría decir, I do. Yo sí. Ok, so give me, give me a minute. Okay. Dame un minuto.
Sorry, I had to drink water. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, let's continue. I'm gonna stop sharing that, and we will continue with our next activity. Okay. Okay, so could you help us reading the lesson objective for this class? In this session, you will notice and practice release and unreleased sounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, a released and unreleased uh, sounds. So we're going to be learning a little bit about it. And to do so, I'm going to show you a video and there we're going to continue with uh, some more explanation about it, okay? So the video just lasts, lasts like, let's say like a minute and a half. Okay. We want you to get better on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice. As many times as you need to. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released. T and D. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice when the sound T or D at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following sentences and say them out loud. Watch your pronunciation. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get. Okay, so that was quite a uh, short, right? So I'm gonna show you first. Let me see, I'm gonna leave it or over the... here. And um, now we're gonna be checking on a presentation so we can have some more details about what is released and what is unreleased sounds. So what are unreleased sounds? Okay, can you see the presentation, guys? Can you see it? Yes. Okay, perfect. So uh, basically, we're going to be talking about these T and D sounds, right? And um, okay, if T and D is followed by a consonant, the sound is unreleased. We're going to be checking what is that, okay? But remember, this is the first point. T or D followed by a consonant. Unreleased means that the air doesn't come out of your mouth. So it means that you keep the, the air right inside your mouth when you pronounce something. Example, she's not good at math. So if you can see in here, uh, let me um, point out maybe here. Okay. If you notice we have the consonant, we have T, Okay, not, and then we have a consonant. Remember, if T or D is followed by a consonant, the sound is unreleased. And remember, unreleased means that the air doesn't come out of your mouth. She's not, she's not good at math. She's not good at math. Um, in other means, it means that you don't, let's say, you don't, let's say, your air doesn't come out. So you keep your air inside, right? Let's check so another example. Um, now we have T, E, D followed by a vowel, the sound is released. So what is released, by the way? Do you know that? Do you know what is released and released? 
Ajá. Liberar o no liberar un, un, un sonido. So that's release. The sound is release, so you mean that you do this, right? So if you have a T or D followed by a vowel, the sound is released. Release means that the air comes out of your mouth. Example, she's not, she's not a good girl. And how do we know this? T becomes R. She's not a good girl. So in this case, this T can become an R, right? She's not a, look at this, she's not a good girl. And in some cases, we have seen this kind of uh, pronunciation, but we don't know why do you pronounce this this way? Because we have release and not release sounds. So everything depends on, uh, on this, right? If T or D are followed by consonant, the sound is unreleased. If T or D are followed by a vowel, the sound is released. She's not a, she's not a, so we don't say she's not a good girl. We say she's not a good girl. And for, to, and for that, we're gonna be checking a reading so you can have in, in some more ideas of uh, when um, you find these sounds. So I'm gonna show you the reading and uh, I need your help to check what are these, uh, let's say, examples or or release and unrelease uh, sounds. For example, in the first line, can you identify any release uh, sound or unreleased sound? Can you check any? So what could be an example? Look at this, a great summer vacation. I just returned uh, from the great summer vacation. Great. Uh huh. Great summer. So that's the first one. Good job. So look at this. We have consonant. Uh, okay, we have T, and then we have a word starting with a consonant. We have a great, great summer vacation. So which would be another one? So this is an example of release and or unreleased uh, sounds. Sería ejemplo de sonido of a release sound or uh, or a from let's say unreleased sound. The great summer. The great summer. So all you have to remember is that T or D is unreleased at the end of a word that is followed by a consonant. T or D is released when it's followed by a vowel, okay? So we have T plus a consonant, so that is unreleased. So which could be another example? Try to identify some. Try to identify some examples. Saul, have you got one? Any? Vacation. Mm, vacation, but mm, the word doesn't end in T or D. Es cuando la palabra termina en T o D y la siguiente puede ser consonante o vocal. Best friend. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, Best friend. Mm, okay, best, yeah, could be best friend, okay, best friend. Mm -hmm. So that is an unreleased sound. It's, it's only, um, no, I don't know how to say that, but not released, right? The key. So best friend could be one. Um, it's summer, a great summer vacation. I just returned from, returned from, so which could be another one? In this paragraph, um, we have like a lot unreleased uh, word uh, sounds, and there are just uh, a few examples with release sounds, like two or three. So, can you identify any other within the reading 
¿Cuál otro podríamos uh, retomar de este reading? What do you think? Greatest summer. Oh, okay. Greatest. Greatest summer. Okay, vacation. Greatest. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? It could be greatest summer, or greatest summer vacation. Okay. Any other? Okay, so this is the one uh, that you were mentioning. My best friends. Look at this. Uh, Henry and Steve went with, went with me. We had a beautiful hotel room in the Latin Quarter, and it wasn't even expensive. We had a balcony with a wonderful view. We visited many famous tourist places. There are some more, so you can check that. Tourist places interested in. So in this case, look at this, interested in art. So that was a special treat for me. The museum is so huge, you could spend weeks there. Henry got tired walking around the museum and said, enough, I need to, I need to take a break and rest. We took lots of break and sat, sat in. In this case, remember that this T can become R, right? So, and sat in cafes, and sat in cafes, and sat in cafes. So, you have a T plus a vowel, right? Can you identify any other uh, release sound? Any release sound? Is there any other that you can identify? ¿Hay algún otro release sound que podemos identificar ahí? The French food we ate was delicious. The wines were tasty too. Steve's favorite part of the of vacation was the hotel breakfast. He said he would be happy if he could eat croissants like those forever. We had so much fun that we're ready. Let me see. I can see that part that we're ready take, talking about our next vacation. Can you identify any release sound? ¿Cuál podría ser otro sonido ahí? Released, a release sound. The screw sound. Marco, can you identify any? No? There are just a few, got, right? Got tired. Got no. Um, let me check. Okay. Food um, we ate was delicious. Bartov said he could eat. Could it? Croissants. We had so much fun. Next vacation. Okay, so now let's try to read these words, uh, just the words in the, in the boxes. Great summer, a great summer, returned from, returned from. Those noten cuando es un unreleased, unreleased sound, el, el aire no, bueno, no, no, realmente no sale de la boca, se mantiene. Um, a great summer. Entonces, cuando usted hace un release sound, um, empuja el aire hacia afuera. So that's the, the main difference. Um, y puede volverse esta, um, este sonido, por ejemplo, sat in, puede ser una R, sat in cafés, a breaks and sat in cafés. And then, well, we suddenly don't understand what are they trying to pronounce. Entonces, solo podemos escuchar a veces cuando estamos hablando con alguien o cuando escuchamos alguna conversación. So let's check uh, some others. My best friends, my best friends went with, went with a uh, tourist, tourist places. Visited many, visited, visited 
visited many tourist places, interested in, interested in, interested in. So that is, that is a really sound, right? T and vowel. Um, okay, I can't, I can't, it's a really sound. Interested in, okay, interested in art. So that was a special treat for, treat for, treat for, need to, need to, sat, sat in, okay, breaks in satin cafes along the river scene. The French food we, food we, part, part of, so you say part of, part of, part of, part of the vacation, part of the vacation. Said he, said he, uh, could eat, so you could say could it, could it, could it cross sounds. He said, Okay, he said he would be happy if could it cross sounds. Notice that? Could it? Acá eh, sería cuadrito rojo también. Could it cross sounds? Like those forever. We had so much fun that we're already talking about our next vacation. So, um, yeah, this is a, a thing that we have to practice, right? When we read, um, maybe you can check this as well. So, in order to correct or improve your pronunciation. So let's see, now let's try to read that all together. The great summer vacation just returned from the greatest summer vacation. It was so fantastic, they never wanted to eat. Oh, here we have another one. Aquí tenemos otro, ¿verdad? Is this release or unrelease? Este de acá. ¿Cómo sería? Wanted it. Mm, wanted it. I never wanted it to end. Mm -hmm. So wanted it to end. So in this case, uh, we have a D and we have a vowel. So remember, whenever you have T or D and then you have a vowel, so it's release. I never wanted it, wanted it to end. I never wanted it to end. Uh, I spent eight. Okay, I spent eight. Aquí tenemos otro, miren. Um, no lo había visto. I spent eight. I spent eight days. I spent eight days. Entonces, como que no se detiene ahí el sonido, sino que sale el aire uh, cuando va una vocal. I spent eight days uh, in Paris, France. My best friends, Henry and Steve, went with me. We had a beautiful hotel room in the Latin Quarter, and it wasn't even expensive. We had a balcony with a wonderful view. We visited many famous tourist places. My favorite was the Love, uh, a well-known museum. I was always interested in art, so that was a special treat for me. The museum is so huge, you could spend weeks there. Henry got tired. Mm, okay, so here you have another one. Creo que esto lo mencionó Saúl. Henry got tired walking around the museum and said, enough, I need to take a, a break and rest. We took lots of break and sat in cafes along the river. See, the French food we ate was delicious. The wines were tasty too. Steve's favorite part of the vacation was the hotel breakfast, which he said would be happy if he could eat croissants like those forever. We had so much fun that we're already talking about our next vacation. Um, something that probably might help you to improve uh, your pronunciation is reading, because you listen how you pronounce. So reading is really important. Um, when I was studying, I remember that I used to read a lot and, well, it helped me a lot. Let's see, who wants to try reading this uh, paragraph? Who wants to try? Maybe Marco. Marco, you want to try? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay. A great summer vacation. I just returned from the greatest summer vacation. It was so fantastic. 
I never wanted to the, to wanted to end. I spent eight days in Paris, France. My best friends Harry and Steve wanted to meet. We had a beautiful hotel room in the Latin Quarter, and it wasn't even expensive. We had a balcony with a wonderful view. We visited many famous tourist places. My favorite was the Louvre, a well-known museum. It was always interesting in art, so that was a special treat for me. The museum is so huge, you can spend weeks there. Henry got tired walking around the museum and said, Enough, I need to take a break and rest. We took lots of breaks and sat in coffees along the river scene. The French food we eat was delicious. The wines were tasty too. The Steve's favorite part of the vacation was the hotel breakfast. He said he would be happy if he could eat croissants like those forever. We had so much fun that we are already talking about our next vacation. Okay, thanks, Marco. Let's see. So, do you want to try, so? Okay, uh, enough, enough, Marco, okay. enough. Uh, go ahead, uh, so. Uh, a great summer vacation. You will return from the greatest summer vacation. It was so fantastic. I never wanted to end. I spent eight days in Paris, French. My best friends, Henry and Steve, went with me. We had a beautiful hotel room in the Latin Quarter, and it wasn't even expensive. We had a balcony with a wonderful view. We visited many famous tourist places. My favorite was the Louvre. Lover. 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 I well know museum. I was always interested in art. So that was a special treat for me. The museum is too huge. So to spend with there. Henry go tired walking around the museum and say, enough, need to take a break and rest. We took a lot of break and sat in a cafe along the river Seine. The French food we ate was delicious. The wine were tasty too. Steve, Steve's favorite part of the vacation was the hotel breakfast. He say he could be happy if he could eat prison like those forever. We had a, oh, sorry. We had so much fun that we're already thinking about our next vacation. Okay, thanks, Saul. And we're going to try to read that uh, together, okay? A great summer vacation. I just returned from the greatest summer vacation. It was so fantastic. I never wanted to end. I spent eight days in Paris, France. My best friends, Henry and Steve, went with me. We had a beautiful hotel room in the Latin Quarter, and it wasn't even expensive. We had a balcony with a wonderful view. We visited uh, many famous tourist places. My favorite was the Lover, a well-known museum. I was always interested in art, so that was a special treat for me. The museum is so huge, you could spend weeks there. Henry got tired walking around the museum and said, enough, I need to take a break and rest. We took lots of breaks and sat in cafes along the river scene. The French food we ate was delicious. The wines were tasty. Okay, the, the wines were tasty too. Steve's favorite part of the vacation was the hotel breakfast. 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 He said he would be happy if he could eat croissants. He said he could be happy if... Uh, okay, he said he would be happy if he could eat croissants like those forever. 
We had so much fun that we're already talking about our next vacation. Let's see, uh, volunteer, one more. One more. Claudia, you want to try? Um, I don't know. Irma, Ruth, Renee. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, that summer vacation. Just return from the rest of summer vacation. It was so fantastic. I never wanted it, wanted it to end. I spent eight days in Paris, France. My best friend Henry and Steve went with me. We had a beautiful hotel room in the Latin Quarter, and it wasn't even expensive. We had a balcony with a wonderful view. We we visited many famous tourist place. My favorite was the Louvre, a uh, well can. I, I will now most you. I was always interest, interested in art, so that was a special treat for me. The museum is so who you could spend weeks there. Henry got tired walking around the museum, museum and taste, and now need to take a breath and dress. We took lots of bread and sat in cafes along the River Seine, River Seine, the French food we ate was delicious. The winners were tasty too. Steve's favorite part of the vacation was the hotel breakfast. He said he would be happy if the cold it croissant like those forever. We have so much fun that we are really talking about our this vacation. Okay, thanks, Claudia. That was a long start, right? <laughs> okay, that we're already, 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 already. Okay, um, let's check some words. Uh, returned, 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 returned. Um, greatest or greatest vacation, greatest. vacation, vacation. Um, wanted, wanted. I never wanted it to end, or I never wanted it to end. I never wanted it to end. Wanted, okay. I wanted to learn French, for example. I wanted to eat cake, wanted, wanted. Um, let me check another one. Um, a hotel, 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 hotel. Uh, even expensive, we had a balcony with a wonderful view, 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 wonderful view. We visited, visited, we visited many famous tourist places. Visited, visited. Mm, something that I suggest you to start uh, trying with um, past uh, forms of the verbs. Uh, how to pronounce these uh, forms. For example, if you have a verb ending in T, uh, you have to pronounce the ED as it. Visited, visited. Visited many famous tourist places. Interested. T again. If. If. Interested. In art. Interested in art. In art. Treat for a um, museum. Museum. Museum is so huge. So it means really big. Huge. 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 You could spend weeks there. Henry got tired walking around, walking around, walking around the museum and said, enough, enough. I need to take a break and rest. We took lots of breaks and sat in cafes, cafes and sat in cafes along the river scene. The French food we ate was delicious. The wines were tasty too. 
Steve's favorite part of vacation was the hotel breakfast. He said he would be happy if he could eat croissants, croissants uh, like those forever. We had so much fun that we're ready, that we're ready, that we're ready talking about our next vacation. Um, okay, so you can take a screenshot of that and record yourself. So try to improve your, um, let's say, pronunciation by uh, reading, by reading. Okay. Okay, so I think we have some more minutes. And we're gonna be checking something related to job. Look at this, um, job interview tips. Marco, can you help me with um, tip number one, please? Tip number one before the interview, research, research the company. Learn about the company's product, business model, values, and the challenges it's facing. Okay. So, um, well, why are we talking about this? Because um, basically when you go and look for a job, we have to get ready, right? So we have to prepare. So what do we have to say? What we don't have to say? And research the company is the first point. So you have to investigate what's going on, right, with the company. What do they do, of course? If you don't investigate and you don't know what they do, so you're going to be in troubles because you need to know about um, the product or service they offer, the values or challenges for the company. And uh, we have our tip number two. So we'll go ahead. Uh, practice answering in interview questions. This will make you feel more comfortable, comfortable and confident during the interview. Okay. So as part of being ready for this uh, job interview, remember that you have to practice with some common questions like, for example, tell me about yourself. So you don't have to talk about something you did yesterday, right? So you have to talk about your, uh, let's say your experience. So you have to talk about your studies. You have to talk about your skills. So you have to be ready to ask, to answer that kind of questions. So you don't have to talk about your personal life. You have to talk about um, your skills, your abilities, your experience, your studies. So that's what we have to mention when we uh, try to, let's say, to aim this kind of question when they ask, uh, tell me about yourself, okay? And number three, Claudia, please. Como no puedo pronunciar interesting. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Prepare your own question. Asking questions shows you're interesting. Oh, <laughs> and okay. That you, okay. And that you be done your homework. Okay. Um, this is interested. 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 Ah, <laughs> so leave me a text. Um, déjeme un mensaje. Le voy a enviar una, un documento donde está ahí lo, eso de los pass uh, regular. Uh, ED. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, gracias. Thanks. Okay, uh, prepare your own questions. Asking questions shows you're interested in that you've done your homework. So you have to prepare questions for the company, right? For example, um, you can ask about, let's say, something important related to the company, right? If you don't ask, so yeah, it's not really bad, but you have to ask because you you have to show that you really want to work there, right? So you have to show some kind of interest. And um, during the interview, let's continue with the second stage. Uh, smile and make eye contact. So I think we already know that, right? But I don't know, but this is a helpful and we forget that, uh, that key uh, points. So you should appear confident, friendly, and easy to talk to, right? If you look nervous, 
So that won't be good. So you have to look confident. And you can start, hi, my name is uh, Marilee, and I'm going to talk about my job experience. I have worked for different companies uh, within the five last years. I have experience working with, uh, let's say, with, in my case, with kids, teenagers, adults, and blah, 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 right? And you have to look friendly. You have to smile, right? So that makes a different, that shows a different, let's say, attitude for you, right? So you don't have to be like so serious, right? You're too serious. I mean, uh, let's see. Uh, the next one, please help us uh, with this one, maybe. Okay. Uh, Fernando, Fernando, help us. Number five. Can you see number five, Fernando? Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, let me see number five. Um, don't be everyone. That right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, don't be everyone. Perdón. Es que <laughs> es un poco pequeño y, y a veces mm -hmm. me tapo porque estoy en desde el teléfono. No, eh, dice, yeah. don't, don't be arrogant. 76% of hiring managers say they will reject an arrogant candidate. Mm, okay. So what do we mean with this? Um, 76% of hiring managers say they will reject an arrogant candidate. And it happens a lot. Because um, yeah, in some cases, there are some people that tend to, let's say, to show off um, and, well, so that's a problem, right? So you have to show your experience, but you don't have to be like that too much. Uh, uh, well, you we don't have to be that way, right? And they notice uh, when we do that things, because mm -hmm. that's why they are hiring people. That's why they are recurs, right? And let's see the next one, be concise. Avoid doing off on tangents and talking too much. So you have to go straight to the point. So what do you want to say? If you want to show us, to mention your abilities, so go to that abilities and mention that. And if they ask you something directly, okay, answer, okay, but answer with a positive idea, right? So imagine if they ask about your weakness. Yes, Saul? What is a tangent? Tangente, no use por la tangente. Uh -huh. For example, if they are asking something and you're trying to avoid that, si le están preguntando algo, usted se va a tratar de evadir esa pregunta o habla demasiado, so that's not good. So maybe if they are, uh, for example, there are some questions that they ask, uh, what is uh, one of your weakness? ¿Cuál es una de sus debilidades? Por ejemplo, ser conciso. Um, ¿Qué podemos decir? Una de nuestras debilidades no puede ser, um, duero, me quedo dormido, llego tarde. So that cannot be possible. So you can answer in a different way. Está preguntando por una debilidad. Maybe I like to, um, let's say, of work extra hours, maybe. Uh, I like to help a lot, for example. <laughs> So you have to use kind of these kind of answers. Tienen que ser respuestas que, yeah, uh -huh. tienen que ser respuestas que realmente me ayuden, no que muestren una debilidad, debilidad, sino que, um, que maybe I'm too perfectionist or I'm too, pero sin ser arrogante, I like to check everything in detail. Me gusta checar todo a detalle, maybe. So it could be one of my weakness. Entonces estoy always pushing somebody to do the things I want. Entonces estoy presionando siempre para que alguien haga las cosas como, como deben de ser. Mm -hmm. So that could be one one question that they normally ask. Well, because you're if you're planning to work in a call center, they're going to ask this, right? Because uh, companies nowadays need people uh, that work for them. Uh, let's say uh, in a positive way and well we have to do this when we go to a job interview 
And uh, seven, turn off your cell phone. Um, yes, for sure, right? So you don't have to have your cell phone on, right? So that uh, shows, uh, let's say, some, some bad, you're going to get some bad points if you have that, if you're trying to answer a call or a, a texting. And don't bad mouth a previous employer. So it means don't talk about don't talk about a company that you have worked for. It. So don't talk in a bad in a negative way, right? So you don't want to come across as negative, petty, and immature. And after the interview, uh, send a thank you note or an email, or you can send a text to your recruiter or to the company. So by being professional and courteous, you'll stand out from other candidates and stay positive, right? The more job interviews you have, the better you'll become in them. Okay, yeah, let's see. So we're gonna continue on Monday with this because I had some more about time. Times not enough, as I was mentioning before. Okay, so for Monday, uh, we're going to continue with this uh, job hunting and we're going to have some practice of uh, job interviews. So I'm going to be asking some questions about, about it. So think about the ideas that we have shared today, right? So maybe on Monday, I'm going to ask you some questions. Or maybe you're going to have your first interview. Let's see. Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Hello, Carlos. Present teacher. Thanks, Carlos. Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Claudia Esmeralda Isabel Martinez Avellana. Irma Jacqueline Manzano de Rivas. Ahí está conectada, teacher. Irma Jacqueline Manzano de Rivas. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Present teacher. Thanks, Isabo. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Present. Okay, thanks. Present teacher. Jacqueline Elizabeth. No. Irma, Irma. Jacqueline. Jacqueline Manzano. Okay, Jacqueline. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Juan Carlos Cubillas Bonilla. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Present teacher. Thanks. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thanks, Carlita. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present Thanks, Marco Antonio Quijano Aguizabal. Present. Thanks, Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. Present, teacher. Thanks, Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present, teacher. Ah, ok, got it. Ruth Marielo Samaya de Guardado. Here, teacher. Thanks, Ruth. Saúl and Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, thanks, guys. Uh, by the way, if you need any help with uh, something from the platform, please feel free to send a text. I'm going to be uh, helping you. And remember, we have two more classes. We're going to be, uh, be finishing on Monday, Tuesday, I guess. Yeah. Okay, guys, so that's all for today. Have a great weekend. And if stay, uh, if you have some questions for today, the, today's class, or if you want to check something from the platform.
Okay. Bye bye, guys. Have a good weekend. Thanks, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, any question, guys? Uh, Saul, and you? Teacher, teacher can, can you help me with, uh, with the platform and the, and the Unity 5.4? 5.4, okay. Five point four, okay. Yeah. Saul, do you have a question too? Yes, teacher, but I think you're busy. Uh-huh. Um How do how I got it? I got to do for practice my writing, my escritura. Oh, you're writing. Uh huh. Mm. It's on application or, or some. Mm, there are some. Well, you know, first you have to select a topic, and there are some procedures that you have to follow. There are some, let's say, some tips, some methodologies. For example, uh, you start with a main idea about what you want to talk. And besides that, you have to, um, let's say, stay, uh, create a thesis statement about what you're going to talk um, in the paragraph. Maybe oh, first, first, I suggest you to start writing about a topic that you like. So you can start with that. And later, uh, maybe I can send you some tips. So how to, in order to learn how to drive, how, how to write, I mean. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because a platform for that, uh, maybe I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna check that. Because I haven't okay. seen one yet. Mm -hmm. Where are the topic? Where uh, my topic? What is the topic? Uh, well, you can start and you can start writing run-on sentences. Pueden empezar escribiendo algún tema que le de algún tema que le guste. No importa no. que tenga que cometa errores gramaticales al principio o errores de perdón, de escritura al principio. Solo trate de escribir. Puede empezar así. Empiece con eso. Ya luego ya se trata de ir organizando un poquito más el, un párrafo. Puede empezar con pequeños párrafos. Le voy a enviar algún un material para que le ayude con eso. Oh, thank you, teacher. Ok. See you. Ok, Saúl. No problem. Ok, uh, veamos aquí la duda de Carlos. Carlos, um, in this case, you have to read the following phrases and rearrange and use what is in brackets in order to make statements. Uh, remember the ING form of a verb. Por ejemplo, tenemos este caso, I enjoy, y después de ciertos verbos vamos agregando gerunds, right? Por ejemplo, después de enjoy, ¿cuál sería el verbo que está acá en la oración? En, estos, en estas palabras, tenemos que organizar, ordenar esta oración. I enjoy spending, acá. I enjoy spending time with friends. Entonces, lo que nos está pidiendo acá es que después de ciertos verbos nosotros pongamos el gerundio. Pero acá solo nos da la forma base. I enjoy spending time with my friends. Y lo demás lo ordenamos. Ok, vaya, por ejemplo, en esto. I don't like, I don't like commuting by bus. I don't like commuting by bus. Después de like, si commute, el verbo transportarse en bus. Aquí okay, dice, so I'm not very good at, ¿cuál es el verbo acá? Learn. 
¿Cómo lo tenemos que ubicar? En, 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 uh -huh. Utilizarlo o utilizar un gerundio. I'm not very good at learning foreign languages. Y el punto ahí, hay que checar si hay doble espaciado. Um, este era el ejercicio que tenía problema. Ya. Yeah. Ah, ok. Pero vamos por el punto al final y no sé, podría ser. Puede ser, si no lo puso, porque acá sí lo hemos puesto. Sí, quizá eso. Uh -huh. ¿Las tenía así? ¿O puede checar este, el espacio? También el espacio, porque sí las tenía así. O ah, igual como entonces... el... Entonces solo debe de ser este algún espacio que hay doble o también este si ha puesto alguna mayúscula o no ha puesto el punto podría ser eso. Teacher and the answer for the three. What is I have I am good at solving problems. At at solving wait for me please solving other people's problems uh -huh. See? but it's bad mm, check the, the punctuation cheque ahí la puntuación puede ser el incluso este apóstrofe si no es el que está aquí programado quizás no se lo va a validar porque está otro también o cheque lo mismo. Yo creería que puede ser alguna letra que está en mayúscula o si no está el punto. No sé si la tiene exactamente como está esta. Verifique. Quiero ver. Uh -huh. Debe de haber un, un pequeño ahí detalle. Can you move the... Can you move the... No, ok. Is the S. Mm, le falta la letra. En la frase dice problem, si yo la usé igual. Oh, yes, you're right. Other mm -hmm. people's uh, problems. But let me check. Yes, let me check. Mm, ok. Sí, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. I got it. It's on. And the file. Sí, esta necesita ser modificada, pero sí, con, sí la, esa sí la acepto, pero sí en realidad uh -huh, sí necesita uh -huh. ser modificada. Okay. Um, la number five. Yes. Okay, I can stand. Oh, uh, let me see. Sitting long times in a meeting. Let's check. Okay. What do you have for that one? But times is not in the fast. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I can stand sitting. I can stand sitting. Okay, so let me check that. Mm, okay. I can stand sitting in ah uh -huh. sí cierto in a long meeting. Okay, aquí está. I can stand sitting in a long meeting. So let's check. That. Thank you. 
And the last one, I have troubles. The last one, I enjoy. Um, every day eating lunch. Eating lunch out everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Okay, no problem. Okay, hey, Carlos, uh, somebody else has a question, Ruth, Irma? Oh, oh uh, you were Irma. Oh, Carlos, questions? I'm, I'm good, teacher. I'm okay. fine. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Bye bye. Take care. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. See you. Mm -hmm.